As many world leaders can attest being seen with Donald Trump is not a good look with the electorate back home. And now a new study has found that brands that associate themselves with the U.S. president, in either a good or bad way, can expect a nasty backlash too. And that's despite all the research that says customers want brands to be more socially and politically aware. The study by U.S. technology and media company Morning Consult found that only 30% of customers will have a more favorable view of a brand if it issues a positive statement about Trump. At the same time, only 32% will have a more favorable view of a brand if it issues a negative statement. Most Trump voters, some 56%, agreed they'd have a less favorable view of a brand if it said something negative about the president. While only 32% of Democrat voters said they would have a much more favorable view. Regardless of what a brand says about the president, a majority, 70%, of Americans will either disapprove of the comment or they simply won't care. The study found that consumers want brands to take a bigger stand on social issues, particularly around things like civil rights and racial equality. However, they don't like it when the issue becomes pegged to the president. It also found that 67% of consumers will buy a brand for the first time based solely on its position on a controversial topic. Sign in with LinkedIn Donald Trump B. B. Dan has retained Disney, yet unfortunately no news of Walt coming out of his cryogenic deep freeze. What lowly media outlets continue to give oxygen to these has been reality TV show stars? B. As this ad certainly proves, if you're ever stuck for a creative idea then cute kids should be your go-to every time. These Roy Morgan figures confirm print is far from dead. Sure, it could update its hairstyle, but definitely not dead. As a warning, B. The announcement designates Cantor as an approved third-party measurement provider for brands looking to verify their media spend performance on Google-owned platforms. Cantor is approved globally to provide both brand lift insights for evaluation of brand impact from campaigns and for independent measurement of audience reach from campaigns on Google properties. Cantor CEO Eric, it's the latest in B. Jim and John are back for next year's tennis. Although B. More proof SBS are media's good guys comes this top news, although we'll let last week's unsavory Lee Lynn news slide. Melbourne Social Co. takes on sudden look of the Osmond family after whitening win. If there's one great gift of the credit card statement, they help you trace whatever the hell you are doing at 4 a.m. B. Nothing says women in league quite like a roast chicken, does it? Hang on, let's just read that back for a moment. Nine unveiled its tennis plans at a gala event in Melbourne last night, made all the less gala by B. Well, it's probably more solarium than anything hotter. B. What's not to love, really? You may ask, how does B? This story has everything, scandal, intrigue. It's 2018, is something you hear a lot when you talk to the players, coaching staff and fans involved in Rugby AU's bid for the Rugby World Cup Women's 2021 tournament. There is this sense that they are not only ready for a greater stage, but raring to go. As one player said, ready? We're, Sky News joins Labour Polly Emma Husser and Cole's 15-cent plastic bags as public enemy number one at the moment. A visiting Facebook boss has told Aussie publishers it's not the devil. Not that there was loaves. Sam Gear appointed Initiative's new chief strategy officer and possible president of the inter-office chess club. B. Shish Silk is an Australian brand that quickly grew in popularity among celebrities like Giselle Boonchin and Kim Kardashian West. Shish Silk has just received a $1.8 million order from a very large brand in the U.S., and CEO Olivia Carr's projections is for this to be a $50 million business in five years' time. It's always nice to hear when agencies do good, although evil tends to be far more interesting. 
Publicis reveals chief growth officer whose responsibilities be. Doves unveiled yet another powerful campaign that, yet again, will possibly make you feel slightly bad about yourself. Netflix is set to pass a very big gallstone since its launch in Australia. Apologies, that should have read, milestone. Can't be bothered reading this article. Well, thankfully it includes an informative graph meaning thinking is optional. We love a Mars here at B. Well, it's mostly rest, really, not much work gets done. Has your influencer marketing ROI got a bit of the flops about it? Well, this read will be like a vigorous foot pump. News strategy. Does anyone feel a reprise of Feed the World coming on? Even B. However, this one's probably more on the monotonous side. Danielle Lowry appointed Pacific's new head of product. B. Do you get a bad case of the shivers? Who doesn't despise most, if not all of their colleagues? So, in the sake of office goodwill, B. One need only see the B. Proof that summer isn't far off comes this cricket ad. More proof the IAB has had an absolute gutful of Nielsen's video measurement standards comes this stomach-churning news. In what sounds reminiscent of a CIA torture manual, Burger King are playing Toto's, Africa, on constant repeat. Just when you thought the whole Sky News, Nazi segment couldn't get any worse, it's gone even fewer down the track. 10 unveils a string of new shows that all appear to be hosted by white, middle-aged comedians who last worked in 2004. This ad for Target Activewear was so utterly inspiring we almost considered going to the gym there for a brief moment. Software as a Service, SaaS, company ReadyTech has announced the appointment of Tony Foray as its new chairman. Foray is the chairman of outdoor giant media and data intelligence platform Predict THQ. He is also a non-executive director of digital mortgage company Uno Home Loans, content platform Stackla and specialized media company Medical Media. Foray is regarded as being one, Pinterest farewells its iconic grid format. There are only three criteria to be profiled in women in media, be female, work in media and enjoy good profiling. Australia's key industry body for screen production has vowed to support an online series about Sydney's IBIS community as part of its recently announced story development funding package. Screen Australia will fund 20 feature films, 10 online series, 1 television drama and 4 talent development placements, totaling over $800,000. One of the online series that alt shift wins Saints PR. As in the fashion label, not goodly folk who've since died. IOTA expands the team with two new hires. So who exactly is this third person interloper in the press photo? B. Hence, why this is penned by an expert third party. It may have been 3.4 days since B. Has a colleague suddenly burst into song? Gareth Tomlin said to have to explain what he does at parties after being appointed GM of Theta Insights. Does your office fridge contain a case of a VB? Award School has named its 2018 Student of the Year who, strangely, has neither a beard nor semi-humorous t-shirt. Image-led story It's a photo special of B. B. Periods demystified and goofy dads banished all part and parcel of how Australians portrayed in the media says this. Growth platform HubSpot has extended its commitment to help millions of businesses grow better with the launch of conversations. The new tool is available as part of HubSpot's free CRM and gives all businesses, big or small, the power to build better one-on-one -on -one relationships through features including a unified inbox, live chat, and chat bots. Conversations is SCA Regionals now to be called Triple M. Sure, it's not that imaginative but probably saves on stationery. Banking technology firm Data Action is building upon its close relationship with digital agency Fusion, today announcing the acquisition of a significant shareholding in the company.
Head of Action CEO Carl Grant said, Combining Fusion's expertise with our proven capability in the development of the full suite of banking products, is going to create an exciting opportunity. Australian-owned global call analytics provider, Delacon, has ensured the data privacy of its European customers after becoming GDPR compliant. The Sydney-headquartered business which has an office in London and works with clients across Europe, has been working to meet the requirements of the European General Data Protection Regulation which came into force and, despite sounding very Mexican, Mondelez is actually American, hence why Mindshare staff aren't wearing sombreros today. Clems Melbourne wins BMW's Creative which, arguably, is better than BWM Dentsu getting it, which could prove confusing. The cookie apocalypse is coming, which, thankfully, doesn't involve Lucifer consuming earth and brimstone. Ever thought George Costanza would make the perfect Colonel Sanders? Someone has and, to their credit, it's perfect. Sky News' decision to interview a far-right extremist appears to have left a Nazi aftertaste in advertisers' mouths. Facebook has unveiled new tools for businesses that, sadly, includes neither the rotary hoe or hydraulic garden mulcher. If there was ever a monthly award for showboating in the Brisbane market then Red Agency would definitely be up there. Awful, rhythmless dancing may be acceptable at weddings and atop Mardi Gras floats, but it appears a big TV no-no. If there's a given here at B. Is the arrival of the gas bill cause of consternation at your place every month? Add to the finger pointing with these. It's rare news out of Adelaide today. And tomorrow, it'll be even rarer news out of Kalgoorlie. Although no promises. The Movember Foundation will officially be the first charity to launch an exclusive docuseries through Instagram's IGTV platform, with the premiere taking place on Saturday the 4th of August. A new video will debut daily over five days, with each sharing the real-life challenges of men living with prostate and testicular cancer, and their experiences to maintain, image lead story they're young, super talented and can very possibly hula hoop with multiple hoops. Yes, meet award school's finest here. Let's be honest, bladder leakage rarely offers an agency a chance for too much fun and frivolity, so it's hats off here. It's a list of Australia's top favorite leisure pursuits with both jousting and maple dancing noticeably absent. Are you a slave to your content calendar? Time to lose your marketing loincloth with this shackle-breaking red. To celebrate Shuttershock's 15-year anniversary of empowering storytellers, the company has paid homage to stock images with a global competition amongst employees. Encouraged to work together. This expert says we send 1000s of non-verbal messages every day. Gumtree Australia has released the findings from its 2018 second-hand economy report. The research shows that the second-hand economy is now worth $34 billion but 50% of Aussies are throwing unwanted items in the bin. As one of the pioneers of the sharing economy, Gumtree has released its eighth annual second hand, seven and nine have entered a fight to the death over addressability claims. B. And by news channel, we mean website, which is already available 24-7. Getting male celebs naked has proven to be a whining ratings formula for seven, and now the ladies are set to strip off. New idea is doing its bit for Aussie farmers, while B. Columbus has promoted John Paul McCormick as B. AJF. The block shop has officially popped up, though that's not to say the shop arose from the ground or anything. The Swans QBE partnership continues, with rumors the insurance provider will now get a mention in the team song, M.